Hi, I'm Chris at PDQ.com. Today we're going to go over deleting the schedule history for a given schedule, all the machines. So, you might be familiar with the schedule history for a schedule and how to delete them. And if I was to pull up a schedule here, uh, the tab at the far, to the right called target history, I can select individual uh, records in this history, or I can actually delete them all pretty easily from the, the GUI. However, what if you want to do that programmatically? What if you have something that's part of a build process or you have something that's part of an imaging solution such as, you know, fog, you have a, you want to wipe it out before uh, redeploying these uh, schedules. The solution is PowerShell and the command line for PDQ deploy. So we're going to switch over to PDQ, uh, for PowerShell over here. First, I'm going to take a look at the options in the PDQ deploy command line and see that there is an option for delete schedule history. So we'll do PDQ deploy help delete schedule history. And you'll see that it needs a computer that we define, whether we do it for all schedules or not, which in this case we don't worry about that, as well as the schedule uh, with an integer. So that's the schedule ID it's looking for. So since this is only per one computer, we're going to show you how to kind of loop through a list of computers in order to do that via PowerShell. So first off, we're going to define our database location. And that's just uh, over here in program data, admin arsenal, PDQ deploy slash database.db. Then we're going to define the uh, SQL command that we're going to run. In this case, we're just going to select the schedule ID from schedules, where name, like, and in this case, we need to define what name we want to do. So we might be able to do, uh, to define schedule name. So let's create another variable called schedule name, and the name of our schedule, which is Fancy schedule. This is the one we're going to look at and delete the history from. So we'll do fancy schedule. So fancy schedule. Then in order to run that, we'll do SQLite 3 and then point to the database and then the SQL command. We run this, we should get an ID back, 52. We can verify that that actually is. Oh, that is not what I was expecting. That is, and see, here we go, troubleshooting. I forgot to add the schedule name in here. So, schedule name. So, we'll run that. We get 55, which is, in fact, the correct schedule that we're looking for. So, we'll change that, save that to schedule ID. Then, we actually want to get all the different uh, target history for that particular schedule. And that's in a different table called uh, schedule computers. So, we'll define the SQL again as select. I believe it's name from schedule computers where schedule ID equals schedule ID. And we'll run that SQL 3, get the point of the DB, and get the SQL command. So let's run that. And we'll see that we get this list of six computers, which we can verify again. Those six computers are actually in the target history for that schedule. Good. So let's define that as the computers that we want to use. We are then going to use a for each loop, for each, and we'll say for each target in computers, we're going to do a bunch of stuff. So let's do that command we had down here before, which was PDQ deploy, what was it? PDQ deploy delete, oh, delete schedule history. So I'm going to copy that, put it up here. Delete schedule history. Now that syntax was well, we provide the computer name, so we'll do the dash computer, and we'll do target since we're iterating through that list of computers as target, and then the schedule, and then that is going to be the schedule ID. So then we'll run this. It's going to go through and delete the schedule history for each one of those targets. We'll go look and deploy, open up that schedule, and see that they are all missing. There it is, pretty quick, pretty easy. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Chris with PDP.com.